this time we're going mobile. Greetings fellow YouTubers, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I hope you're well today. Um, this time around, I've got a request from one of you guys. Somebody said, "Can Andy, can you do a session on the Mobile Administrator app? And I thought, you know, that's a really, really good idea. Now, if you've not used it, it's absolutely awesome. It works for both Android and Apple devices. You can go ahead and download it. So the Microsoft 365 admin app lets you do, well, you know, in, in, initially it was just kind of the basic stuff, um, but now they've really improved it. So you literally could be sitting on a beach somewhere really nice, uh, managing your entire platform and still charging your customers the same price, may I add. Um, so definitely worth downloading and having a look at. Um, now, of course, if you've not subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and uh, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you won't miss out on any of the good stuff in future. And as always, please like and uh, go ahead and share this video. It's really, really important. And I'm really appreciative to those people who have uh, done that already. Now, one thing that I'll always say is if you've got any comments, any questions, especially questions, I love them. Go ahead and pop them down below and I will do my best uh, to get to them. Anyway, let's get on with the demo. I really hope you enjoy it. And again, comments, questions down below. So let's take a look at the Microsoft Administrator app. So here I am in the uh, 365 Admin Center. And as you can see, we've got everything that we have, everything we need rather. We've got the Message Center, the Service Health, Billing and Alerts. And again, you've got access to all your accounts. Um, now you can see here with alerts or any kind of system center messages, um, you've got an inbox, you can open this up, you can have a look if there's any changes. Um, anything that's in red is important, um, so don't uh, forget about that. Um, now you've also got some shortcuts there where you can also create users and groups, you can manage your billing and so on. Let's have a look at these in some detail. So here you realize it's not just a kind of a shortcut kind of system. This is a fully fledged admin center. You can manage absolutely everything here. You can filter by licensed and unlicensed users. You can search for a user. Um, for example, here I've got a user called Jean-Luc Picard. I can see all the properties of this user account. I can reset the user account. I can assign a license to the user. I can edit the user if I want to change any of the user's properties. I can change the license right away. So you literally could be on a beach anywhere in the world and managing this. And that is so cool that you can do that. Um, you can uh, change the roles. So again, the admin roles. So at the moment, Jean-Luc, uh, he doesn't have any uh, administrator role privileges. Um, the other things that you can do is you can also view and manage the groups that Jean-Luc is a member of. So at the moment, he's only a member of this one, which is Contoso at the moment. Um, so, but you can, as I said, you can change that. You can um, you can view and manage which groups he's in. You can see how many machines he's installed Microsoft Office on, how many devices are managed in Intune. And if you've got an appropriate license, you could. this will also take you through to that as well. Um, in terms of email, you can place the user on litigation hold so that you can monitor the email um, and you can also manage it as well. Um, as you can see, I can also create new users here. So you can literally be on a beach on vacation and business never stops. So I can go ahead. I'll create a user here called John Snow. So just Snow S. And you can see it's auto generated a password for John. I can change that, of course, if I want to. And then, of course, I can go ahead and assign a license to this user. So I'm going to go ahead and give him an E3 license for this particular user, I think. Um, you can also give him other features as well. 
um, Power Automate. And again, as Windows 365 becomes available, this will also be there as well. You get a notification that this works uh, and that everything's good. Uh, and you can send the password uh, either via text message or uh, via a, an email message to John. Um, one little bug I've noticed, by the way, is that in groups here, you can obviously view all your different groups. Um, now, one difference here is when you create a group, uh, it doesn't automatically create a Microsoft team. So unlike the actual desktop or the web client, OK, um, so if I go ahead, you can see it's asking me what kind of group do I want? So a fully collaborative Microsoft 365 group, a security group with no collaboration, just a distribution list or that mail enable security group. So just a mailbox, really. So I can go ahead. Um, I'll call this group marketing department. Um, and of course, like all the other groups, I can add an owner or a manager if you wish. And you can say, is this going to be a private group or is it going to be a public group? So I, again, I can search down and I can say, hey, who do I want to assign as a manager? I can just put this into the search field and I'm going to assign Megan as the manager here. Um, I can put in a description and you again, like I said, you can make it a private group or a public group. I would have liked to have seen another uh, slider button there that says private rather than uh, public. It doesn't entirely make it clear. Um, okay, so there we go. Now, the one thing that you'll notice here is it just takes a few seconds, as always, in the, um, the UI, the user interface. Sometimes there's a little bit of a drag, so you just kind of refresh that screen, and eventually it will turn up. Now, um, if it's not turning up in this case, because it does take a couple of minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly search for that user or that group rather. So if I just go ahead and type in marketing would help if I typed it incorrectly um, and just hit enter on that. And you can see that in seconds, sure enough, there's our marketing department uh, 365 group. Now, from here, you can edit the group, you can change it, uh, you can manage the membership of the group, uh, you can change the ownership of the group, and so on. So, very cool. Now, another type of group, by the way, if you just want a shared mailbox, so you don't want anything else, just purely a shared mailbox, you can do that as well. Contacts, of course, again, these are people external in your organization. Um, they're not they've not licensed you and um, other things that you can do you can also go in and view the, the billing and the licensing and so on and you can set billing alerts up here as well um, we also have mailbox migration just a note you can't do a migration here you can just go in and you can view the status of the migration and you can also go in and create other types of mailboxes resource mailboxes rooms, equipment, and so on. That could quite be useful for scheduling um, and so on. Um, other things that we've got, you've also got access to the settings. So with the settings, of course, you can go in, set up notifications. You can customize the menus. You can change the theme between light and dark. Um, Office on the web will take you through to Office on the web. And you can pretty much see everything here. So, you know, if you're out and about, out on the road, this is a, a really nice feature. Um, again, you can control things like uh, release preferences uh, for your users as well. So do you want, you know, that everybody to get that standard release or the first released uh, type of cycle? All right. So again, you also get what's new. Um, with links to docs.microsoft.com. Um, so it gives you a, a, a complete update of uh, things that are new. All right. Um, again, in terms of security, you can add in a passcode. Um, if you, you can set up MFA, but you need to do that through the uh, website. All right. 
Um, going back to the home page, we also have on the home page here, we've got kind of shortcuts here. You can uh, manage those, of course. Um, so you can uh, change those. And I love this, the fact that I can go in and I can change that uh, dark theme. I can choose the, the dark theme. So there you go, a quick look at Microsoft 365 on the app. So there you have it, the 365 Admin Center app. Uh, you can download it today for both Android and your Apple devices. Fantastic. Literally, be anywhere and manage everything. Superb. Comments, questions, get them down below. I love your feedback, by the way. So please uh, go ahead and give me some feedback. And as always, please like and share the video. And if you've not subscribed, then go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. Okay, so thanks for dropping by. Really appreciate it. And you stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for dropping by, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.